himself, I think, already as the best player. Yeah, see, here's the Malala thing. The most decorated player of set 10, right? The only thing is, I hope Malala doesn't fall for his own hype and go 8th today. He's the king of set 10. He's coming I hope he doesn't go 8th today. And we look at it here, he's been playing a lot of stuff that we didn't expect him to. A lot of heart steal on day one. For them. So actually, great positioning from Malala, knowing the threats of the comp of degree. And now, if he finally hits a dress, but not Samira 3. Yeah, Malala's got so many damage threats towards the back of the Lucian joining in the mix as well. So in our previous rounds we've seen the melee carries getting blown up pretty quickly, but the Caitlyn still just walked in and finished it off like it wasn't even anything. This time, the Ripper makes it to the end of the round, and it's not even a little bit close as the Green gets annihilated. Malala looking to become the god of set 10 takes his first step there. And a very confident first place. A player with only an 8% win rate across the first two days had only won one of the 12 games, comes in on day three and says, you know what, it's time to start winning. Yeah. Final fight. Just looking at Malala's camera there and seeing the TFT Vegas open title belt in the corner, looking to try and build up to the most insane season of TFT ever on record, but Skipeas standing in his way here as we have got a little bit more punch perhaps for Malala, for what, as you said, Kiana two. one. All of a sudden he's trying to go for Kiana three, he knows he cannot no beat 10 KDA, otherwise he's rolling, the APM is there, he just missed a Kiana though, he still has to find quite a few more, he knows this is the only way he can win, can the master of APM do it? Seven Kianas, he's two away, the time is Skip running out, two. Skipeas has to try and predict What's going to happen, but he can buy oh. it in time. A valiant effort, a great strategic play from Alala, knowing that he could not beat this board. He had to find an alternate win condition. Great performance from him. It's very, very short from getting a missed one, but he needed the rapid APM, so the game goes for the tame KDA from Skip. EMEA sells it again. Skip. That's a big stabilization and most likely someone checking. Now going into Zirya and his Yasuo is actually on the wrong side. This is why you position like this in two clumps so you can switch around easily. Yeah, but still with that true damage Kane, they're slicing and dicing through Malala's front line so swiftly and they're already to the back. Looks like Malala will be dropping here in fifth. He will be one point away from check going down in 19. This is what I was talking about. I would want to see it itemized potentially to try and actually assassinate onto this Lucian, but instead, she's going to be able to just feed her some mana. There's the fight. Mordekaiser in the front line. We actually see this Yorick wrapping towards the Kale, takes down all that front line, but the stun from Thresh able to slow the damage quite a bit. Kale not able to do enough. It looks like that is just going to be a victory for GUA. And he's going to put himself in check from already making this top three. A really solid performance. And Malala not able to find the first, so maybe he doesn't feel so bad about being on 19 <laughs> points this time. Second's good. Second's fine. Yeah. You know, the, the next time is the charm. Next time. Yeah, first, exactly. Right? This is the exactly. second. Next time's the first. Yeah, you got to ramp it up there. So now we're in the moment that everyone was waiting for. Now we have three competitors on check and Four with the possibility of also going for that check. So now the stakes are higher, higher than ever. Milala already with the three hard seal, so it's a great spot for him. He's going for combat even, so he's not looking for the big flashy plays, a play like doing a loose trick with, with hard steel. That's not the way this guy is playing. He wants to save as much SP as possible and then put in a position to look for the big cash outs in the later rounds. The cash out coming through. We'll see what the reward's gonna be. The components are looking good. Wants a few tiers coming into this Krug round. After this, surely he won't raise the stakes, knowing that mm. every eye in this Ooh, lobby he's thinking is on about him. it. Milala. Look at his face. He's dangerous it's time. Man. He's raising the stakes. Now, the players that are going to be contesting for check in this game, who maybe only need a sixth, they can really warp their game plan around trying to stop Milala from cashing out here. Already has a path in which they want to go. There it is. A cash out comes through from Milala. What does he pick up? A spatula? Is his first choice. He has to maybe open up some space on the item bench component here. It's fully stacked with components that he has to start slamming. Things like the blue buff could be slammed here. Half a red buff. Well, no, full red buff here as well. Another Not spatula. Yeah. This is crown. So many bows. Great components overall. And there's a second Infinity Force coming down from the Freaky Friday. So all of a sudden, a massive injection of power onto this board from Malala, who becomes the scariest player in the lobby. And you can see everybody else just kind of watching, right? When you know that cash out is coming in, you're kind of taking stock, looking 
How much did he really get? How much of a spike is it? And do we have anything to put against that? I do want to kind of focus your attention on Zidre, who's up there with the Spoils of War, three wins in, and kind of playing that HP preservation game that we have seen specifically from the CM players. So many players angling hard still, Hupe. I'm seeing you're impressed there. What are you looking at, oh. David? Look down at Malala's board because he picked up a very interesting prismatic option that completely changes what this late game will look like to put him into the game. Zhi Wei as well. It's now only Malala who's on check and who can become the TFT Remix Rumble World Champion if he's able to win this game. Every other player in this lobby eyes on Malala trying to do anything they can to stop him from ending. North America versus CN. CN trying to stop North America from doing it again. They won in set eight with a replay. They're trying to do it in set 10. Trying to maybe equal CN in terms of total championship wins. There it is, the lobby One two. more upgrade coming through for Malala. Come down you to the Thresh potentially casting onto that right hand corner with the Lucian and the Caitlyn. The Kiana's not going to be so relevant for Malala's side as well. We'll see now if there's any going to be wrap from the Yorick, but so many tentacles in the way that Kiana onto the Thresh, stunning the Thresh, moving the Thresh back so his cast cannot connect. The Lucian and the Caitlyn unhindered on the top left corner. The damage coming through, the Sniper's focus melting the front line. For ice, Malala, he's gonna do it, he does it. The this man has is done it. it. Malala is going to be your Remix Rumble World Champion. From going to first place at TVO to first place at Hearthsteel Cup, finding his way through NA Regionals. He has won it all Who's this set. Two? Confetti raining down upon the stage. To Wow. A set that will not be beaten, no matter how long this TFT Malala goes, guy has made too good. Himself, North Actually, well, this set is his set. He was the most condecorated player of NA in the set. Now he's the too most good. This Malala guy. TFT, I have to think in the yeah, the most amazing run this set. He just wins Vegas team. Open, yeah, wins KDA Cup, and then what goes third another tournament, second regionals, and then wins worlds. Guy, That's it. Know, Didn't he lose a tiebreaker to for regionals too? Yeah, he also, almost got first at regionals. Vegas it was on a tiebreaker. So That's crazy. I'm very happy the best part of this is he's going to get a winner's interview with that check in the background. <laughs> Again. <laughs> so good. On the main broadcast. And this was another <laughs> example, by the way, that with the checkmate the format, like Malala just won today, right? Like he's up nine points. $265,404 from set 10 alone. Man, Wait, say man, that again? 265,404. Wow. From one set. From one set. It's a four, a four month set. Yep. Yep. That's crazy. Isn't that insane? <laughs> hey, but he, if he keeps it up for the rest of the year, it's like a 600k salary, yeah? Yeah, Malala's <laughs> like, can you guys make four sets a year now instead so I can make 100? <laughs> 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 <laughs>